Hi everyone, Rory Neary from Data Spinners and TDG. Today we're going to look at components and we're looking at creating a navigation sidebar so that you can move between your different screens. So quite a simple requirement and, and a simple use for components. So here we are in Power Apps and we're on a simple Canvas app. What we're going to do is to create a navigation sidebar that will enable us to navigate between screen 1, screen 2 and screen 3. And what we're going to do is to create a component to do that. So what we're going to do is to move over to components. and we're going to create a new component and we're going to need to resize this so let's say it's uh, what we can do is we can do the in this case we can do the uh, the size the width can be well let's just make that 100 to see what that looks like that will do on this occasion and the height I would rather um, would be the height I'll need to put in as app dot design design height and that will be the full length of your um, of your app if you like the full height of the app we don't have to do it that way but let, let's just do it like that for the moment so what we're going to do is we are going to pop in a label and we're just going to color it it's going to be really simple in fact I'm going to do this whole thing really simply in fact I don't even need I don't necessarily need to have a label there I'm just going to click on there see if we've got a fill option on this and I do have a fill option that possibly means I can avoid having this label here so we're going to fill and we'll just put it as something like blue um, it's not a beautiful color there's all sorts of things that we can do with this of course and what we're gonna do let's make it dark blue that's a bit better uh, and all we're gonna do is gonna place uh, a couple of icons that we can use for navigation purposes so we're going to go and grab ourselves a home icon and that's wonderful isn't it because uh, the color of that is blue by the looks of things um, let's just make it white and we're going to grab another couple of icons and let's just say that they were uh, we're just going to make them some simple icons here let's just say that was another useful icon to us that meant screen 2 to put the fill on that I'll make it white Nope, that wasn't supposed to be that, but uh, I'll undo that. Control Z that, and we'll make the color white. And I might as well do the final one. In fact, I'll I'll just do it as as two items in this case because it's you know it doesn't really prove a lot to to do many more. Now what we're going to do now is we need to create some uh, some inputs. And we need to do that the component level so click on the component itself we'll do a new custom property and we'll need to identify um, let's just call this one um, home screen nav um, and then we will make it an input and what we will put into there is we'll put a screen in there and we will create that so it's called home screen nav I think that will work um, and create and we do a similar thing uh, on the on the second screen nav and I'll just put new custom property um, second screen nav and we'll make that an input and also make that a screen so we'll that's those two inputs and what we're going to do on the components themselves is we'll move on to the on select and then we will put in a navigate and it's going to be and now I'm just going to change the name of this um, um, to something like navigation bar so uh, CMP navigation bar okay 
uh, and then that will mean that I can navigate to CMP navigation bar dot ah, you see this is where I, I didn't actually get the property name right so I didn't put the naming convention right so I'm just going to escape out of that and I may need to actually um, let's go onto the navigation bar go onto this this property this custom property here and see I don't like that so the proper the name of it is actually custom property one which obviously wasn't what I wanted and I'll do the same thing down here second screen nav custom property two and then save that there then move back onto here and CMP navigation bar dot and we'll do it as home screen nav there we are and I think we can close this now and it doesn't um uh, we don't need to put the um transition type so that's quite good um, so I will copy that and I will now on the on select for this uh, I will change that to be um, I think it was second screen nav okay so that's our component kind of nearly done um, so we'll need to be a little bit careful with this and the reason for that is that as we use this component, we'll actually need to kind of put in the place it needs to navigate to each time. But we'll, we'll you know, we'll we'll go with this and just see see how it um, plays out. Um, so what we'll do is move onto the screens, and we will insert a component which is our um, navigation bar. We'll click that. And we can see that on the left now at the moment these things won't take us anywhere because we haven't set them up yet um, and what we'll need to do is go onto the component and we will need to go onto the correct property and what we'll need to do is to set that to be um, to screen one uh, sorry it's going to be navigate screen one on control Z that uh, so it'll be navig. Of course, it's navigate screen one, isn't it? That's perfect. Yep, screen one because uh, that will work. And then on the second screen nav, it's going to be screen two. We just need to pass in a screen. Now the theory goes that this one will actually uh, navigate us out into the second screen, which is fine. Um, but I think what you'll see already is that the um is that each time you use the component you would need to actually key in those screens it's not awful that there would be other ways of doing it um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this component here i'm going to uh, control um control c it and let's just see if we can actually put it in there and paste it in and then move that across let's just see how much of this has actually come across let's have a look at the properties on this home screen now so actually you could copy it between the um you could copy it between the screens and it would work so let's just see how that sort of plays out now so we're on the second screen we move to the first screen move to the second screen move to the first screen now that in in a lot of cases is is good enough um i think the the kind of critique i would have of, of this uh it's kind of twofold it's not it's not perfect yet uh, in the sense of if you look at the navigation bar then you, you know this is this is a navigation bar that you could move between your different apps perfectly it wouldn't it wouldn't care about it and so on um if we wanted to make this navigation bar that maybe only sat in our our own app then maybe what we would do was be we would sort of click on the item there and instead of it saying navigate um to to this um custom property we would navigate it to screen one and i don't actually know if this is going to work so we'll do screen one yeah, it's not. It's not going to. Um, it's not going to love us for that. And the, the reason for that is it's because it's a um, component, so it kind of can't see outside itself. So what we've seen is that with this type of component, the this approach where you put in navigate and you enter the screen isn't going to work in this case. So, but but um, as we progress through our you know other components um, we'll we'll develop the techniques for being able to create more complex scenarios to make your components more reusable
but hopefully you found this useful and uh, I'll see you again soon. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like it and tell people about it and so on and uh, see you again soon. Thanks for that.